angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply. Echo back their joyous strains. We are in Excelsis Deo. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strain prolong? Say what may the tidings be which inspire your heavenly song? Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. We have the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the offer of life. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. God bless us in his mercy. 
May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon the earth, among all nations your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. The second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, be born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son, and of a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and an infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what they had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it has been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our first reading, our Father in heaven gave Moses a special blessing to pray over the people of God. And we receive that blessing today from our Father. Here we are, beginning the new year. And of course, each and every one of us wanted blessed by God, wants God's blessing to lead us to do all the things that he's asking of us. Today, we celebrate also the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and we ask for her prayers throughout this year that our Mother will find protection for us when we find ourselves faced by adversity. 
And this is the blessing that Moses prayed. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly upon you and give you peace. And of course, we're celebrating this Christmas season because we received the Christ child into the depths of our hearts. We received the Prince of Peace and it is the peace of Christ that helps us to go forward each day in love and mercy to be shared with all. We hear that the shepherds were called by the angels. The shepherds were the lowest of all the people of Israel. The shepherds had no power. They were considered unclean. They lived out in the hills and in the pastures with their sheep and their animals. And therefore, the religious leaders of this day didn't even want them present. But here they were, the poor in spirit of their day. And those are the ones that our Father in heaven chose to announce the birth of his son to first. Those are the ones, the poor, the ones who rejected by their society, those lost out in those hills and pastures, only hanging out with their, with their animals. And yet the angel came to them and spoke to them about how this virgin who gave birth to this savior of the world, our God, Jesus, God who is Emmanuel, he who is with us. And of course, the, the shepherds wanted to go find out. They wanted to go see with their own eyes. So they went down to Bethlehem and there they found the child and mother just as they were told. There was the holy family, Mary and Joseph, proud parents of the child Jesus, there in a stable, Jesus, Jesus sleeping in a cattle trough where they would feed the animals. And yet here he was, wrapped in cloths because it was cold, and yet here was the savior of the world as promised by our father, that when the time was right, he would send his only son and that son brings us all the great gift of life eternal that we look forward to. About 25 years ago, actually it was uh, 2003 in June, I was uh, teaching at Cardinal Spellman and some of the kids were asking, Deacon, have you heard? Actually, Mr. Nickley, I wasn't Deacon, I was a year away. Mr. Nickley, have you heard? There's an image of the Blessed Mother and the Child Jesus on the window at the hospital in Milton. And people were flocking to see that image, to see the Blessed Mother holding the Christ Child in an image on the upper glass, and I guess it was an eye doctor's window. And great crowds were gathering. And so uh, together with uh, a bunch of the other teachers, we said we should go see what the kids are talking about. And so we went, and there we were in the parking lot at Milton Hospital, and we were not alone. There were thousands of people there. Thousands of people staring up at a window with an image of the Blessed Mother and her holding the child Jesus. And everybody debated, is this an image? Did God send us this image? Or was this merely condensation that came between the special glass? What caused this image? But whatever caused it wasn't really the point. The point was is that there were thousands and thousands of people that started to come to that site. They brought flowers and pictures of loved ones and vigil candles. And of course, the rosary spilled out spontaneously as people began to pray as they looked upon the image of mother and child. Just like the shepherds long ago, they were amazed. They were amazed that the Savior had come to this world. They had, we were amazed that the Virgin gave birth. And they, thought, they knew and understood that this was special and meant for each and every one of us. The authorities began to try to figure out how to persuade people not to come. A lot of rumors that they were putting pressure on the church to tell the people to stay home. And yet throngs of people came. They came from other states 
And I would go back often just because I was amazed by the crowd and amazed that people were praising God there in the parking lot and on the lawn as we looked at an image of the Blessed Mother and Child. Today on this special day, we are called, we are called to sing praise to the child Jesus. We are called at the start of this new year to once again to turn to our Blessed Mother and ask for her help so that we too may say yes to God and all that he is presenting to us each day, that we too may find ourselves in his holy will and that we may follow all that he is asking of us. Our Blessed Mother watches over each and every one of us, her children. We have been saved by Jesus, our Savior. Our sins have been paid for, and one day we will rejoice with him and the Blessed Mother and all the angels and the saints in heaven. But here we are at the start of this new year, asking that God will bless this year, bless our family and friends, bless our church, bless all so that they too may have it revealed to them that they have a Savior that they have a Savior who calls them into relationship each and every day, that they have a Savior who wants to bless them, that they have a Savior who is reaching out to them, and they should say yes to him and embrace him. Today is a special day as we praise God. We gather as the people of God's church. We gather as his children. And we know that truly we are blessed over and over when we come together. We know that our Blessed Mother is filled with joy because we're doing what God is asking of us. We are here today to continue to be amazed and to share uh, all this good things that comes from the love of Jesus Christ with all. May God give us the strength to move forward with great love and go into the world May it make a difference in the lives of many. Our mother wants to call all her children to herself, leading them to a God who loves, leading them to her son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. May again this be a year of miracles, a miracles where so many hearts are changed, so many hearts are given to our Lord, so many people realize that they too can be forgiven of all their sin and iniquity that they too may give God's praise. So together, my brothers and sisters, with the Blessed Mother, let us do all that Jesus is calling us to do. As Mary, let us imitate her and say yes to God. May we say yes over and over. And may 2023 be a year of blessings and miracles. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now, trusting in God's presence and love for us and the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we turn now 
to bring forward all of our needs and petitions. That God's holy church grow in unity, holiness, and in love for Mary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of nations work to end war and establish lasting peace, especially in the Ukraine and the Middle East, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That legislators and representatives promote and defend and respect for life in all people, especially the unborn, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That orphans, especially young children, be nurtured and healed by loving foster parents and guardians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for the recently departed that they may experience the beatific vision of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community to be a place of welcome and solace where those who are lost can find their way home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all parishioners for whom this Mass is offered today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for hearing us and for the gift of this new year. And we ask you to help us open our hearts to all the blessings that you want to bring us at this time and to transform our hearts ever more closer to be like the Blessed Mothers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My soul doth glory in your love, O Lord. My soul doth glory in your love, O Lord. For you gazed on your servant with compassion. And you reached out and took me by the hand. Great are you, God, and holy is your name. Your mercy reaches to the lowly you raise to the heavens and the proud hearted have no part with you pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, 
worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things to make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that when the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for our unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, 
In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the down from the sky and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, they may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I wish you once again a very happy new year. May it be filled with blessings, joy, peace, and many pleasant surprises. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born while shepherds kept their watching or silent flocks by night behold throughout the heavens there shone a holy light. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. The shepherds feared and trembled when high above the earth rang out the angel chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. Go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born.